What's up everybody, I'm back and in this video, I'm gonna do a little walk through. The guys from Zet reached out to me. Uh, big shout out to Zet Kayaks USA. If you guys are interested in demoing any of their boats or checking some of their boats out, go to ZetKayaksUSA.com and check out their complete lineup. Um, I've already did a review on the Zet Cross. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I'll link to it. This one I'm gonna do just a quick run through i'm on the banks here of the drives of the pigeon i'm at the takeout waiting for a crew so i figured i'd do a quick little little walk through on the newest boat that i've got my hands on here this is the zet toro the toro is their kind of um river runner creaker more the cross is more of a boat that goes between that to uh, against the like the 9r2s the nirvanas the phantom more in that style right at nine feet fast down river drop from drop this one's more it's eight foot six and around about 86 gallons i think i'll have to check real quick on that one yeah so looking at the specs here i'm looking at the specs now and the toro comes in right at eight foot nine 86 gallons of volume 26.7 inches wide the paddler recommended weight on that that Zet kind of recommends is 155 to 210. And this one is more of a boat in between, you know, that that river runner style creaker that, you know, if you're not wanting that super fast down river kayak like the Zet Cross, this one is more kind of drop, drop scout, drop turn and, and burn type pulling out of eddies and going type boat. Uh, looks good looks good i've actually seen the toro before i've never paddled one i have been in a raptor a while back but the raptor is more of an older boat the toro kind of like is the replacement for the raptor so yeah i'm just going to go over the boat real quick i'm not going to do a full in-depth that i did with the um the cross if you guys want to see a complete breakdown of their outfitting check the um the link to the zet cross kind of walk through and that's more on the outfitting now we'll talk about like the zet cross i had was a a boat that i had borrowed and it didn't have the actual production hip pads in it but look at this this is something that zet's doing this is their production hip pads and check out this system so this is exactly by the way this is exactly if you purchased a zet boat it would come in the wrapper just like this so so this is pretty much exactly how you would get it you get some hip pad shims here the hip pads are already installed and look at this it looks like to me that's a cutout inside the rim so when they mold this they're cutting this piece out and then adding it adding the hip pads which honestly that's actually a pretty damn good idea because one thing i don't like about wrap around style when you wrap your hip pads around this way i'm not a big fan of that so zet actually thought a little bit outside the box and has a plastic piece mounted that you can loosen with the supplied allen key and go up and down on your hip pads you foam them out with the foam shims that they supplied here looks like yeah you'll you'll foam them out through the side right there and make them thicker and you can adjust them here that is that's actually a pretty good idea i'm really curious how that's going to work and like i said if you look at my zet cross walkthrough you'll see how to adjust the seat i'm just going to tighten up everything and outfit it i'm going to show you guys real quick how to go through this so it looks like you go in like that So once you go through that slot, you go around it like that. Tighten that up, then go back through the same slot again. You see that? And then just feed that through there like that. And it gives you the ability to tighten it down. And in theory, that shouldn't move much. So yeah, you can kind of see you go through through that ladder lock back through it the slot and then back through the other side of the ladder lock but that's how you that's how you lock these little things on there pretty clever little idea to hold your hip pad in place i like the it. back bands are the same super nice back band i love this say um this seat super light boat really light filling boat good quality ratchets 
thigh braces, a lot of attachment points, bulkhead. It comes with supplied foam on the bulkhead. If you guys can see down in there, there is supplied foam on it. The two, the two knob adjustment here. So they're bulkhead adjustments are these two knobs here. And I did notice they've added Loctite to that knob. It's little small details that I really like. They do, they have, they have Loctite. They have thread locker inside that to help these knobs from rattling their way off. I always tell people put a medium strength Loctite on there. If the manufacturer doesn't do it, always put a medium strength Loctite on there. And I can see it's blue right there. Good job Zed on that. Foam out back here to keep the seat from moving from side to side. That's always a good idea. They've made this seat as light as possible too. The seat slides amongst this slot. So you see you loosen up there and you could slide. It looks like two and a half, maybe three inches of adjustment forward and back on that. Back band's held down by a bungee here. It has a small adjustment by the bungee there. I like that. Easy to get in and out of here. One thing I noticed, oh wow, it actually comes with supplied airbags. Look at that. Wow. You guys, I don't know if Zet's including these. Leave in the comments below if you guys know if Zet actually includes these airbags. But look at that. That is a really nice quality airbag too. That's different. Yeah. That would be nice if they come with an airbag. That's that's pretty. That's a pretty sweet deal. These might just be the demos. So yeah, leave in the comments if these guys come with. If the boats will be supplied with airbags, because if so, that is a killer deal. Airbags are not cheap. Um, yeah. So that's that's pretty much it. The the outfit is going to be about the same. I'm going to go over the boat. Looking at the boat, it's very. It has this very aggressive futuristic look to it everything is very aggressive and squared off they didn't this one they have the screw in style drain plug instead of their bottle cap style drain plug so that's very interesting that they went that route i wonder why they did that um if anybody from zet could tell me that i'd like to know why they decided to get away from the bottle style if this maybe was an older style boat and they or for whatever reason they just didn't want to do that but that is nice and recessed there once again nice security bars really cool cool looking logo look at that it's got a little bit of okay see this is how i can tell what kind of logo it is you feel it's got a little bit of um stickiness to it that means it's a MIG-5. That means the adhesive is inside the logo when they purchase it. One thing that, that they could do is kind of hit this with alcohol because what happens is these logos turn really dirty and brown because any type of, um, any type of dirt or whatever sticks to it and it doesn't come off real well. And that's why, so you guys can rub that down with alcohol and it, it, I can feel that stickiness to it, but this is a brand new boat, so yeah. That, you know that's pretty minor that's that's pretty that's real common um the toro look at that the t wow that's kind of cool and looks like a little ink splatter there not a lot of grab right here i've noticed like this one's nice and good to grab a hold of this one right here there's there's really not a lot of like room to even get my hands on here so if you're planning on like a a swimmer jumping up on your stern deck you guys that run like uh, safety boating or video type boating and want to rescue swimmers, that's a good attachment point. And that's probably about all that's going to be good for because I can't even get my full hand under there. I could get maybe two fingers on it like that and hold on, but good luck on that one. So not a lot, I'd like to see that cut out a little more, a little deeper right there. So there could have been a little better on the cutout for carrying the boat over your head too. Cool logo, that's like, they squared that off, yeah no no seat bolts no seat bolts has a drainage port slightly drainage port no seat bolts because the seat bolts are integrated into the rim very tight fitting there i can see that usually that's going to be hard to get like a really thick ran skirt down in i'll have to cram my skirt down in there but i'm sure it's fine i'm sure it's like nothing major um seat and all that i won't go into that i did that on the last one ratchet foam back foam um thigh hooks attachment point here attachment point here nice once again okay this one's a little better so this one this one's good for securing it to a car or whatever and that's a really good one to grab a hold of and pull right there that one is too so those cutouts are pretty good right there i noticed they didn't do the big 
huge embossed logo there. I was not really a fan of that. I like this, it's kind of simple, very clean looking. This has a very clean, this is a very clean looking bow. I like the looks of this bow. Um, not super rockered, but has a better look. I didn't like the look of the cross bow. No knock on it, it was a good paddling boat. It's a great, great paddling boat. So it just didn't look as clean, but that looks really good. I love the looks of that right there and the way that that flows. Nice flow on that. Nice lines, kind of like a bi-level line there. That's pretty much for the deck. Let's roll it over and look at the hull. Not a super high rockered boat. It's flat, so it does have somewhat of a planing surface there with that flat right there, rounded off there. Look at that, no, no edges all the way up. The edge looks like it starts right, the edge doesn't start till right where the knee is. Look at that edge. That is interesting. It's got like a half, like the boat has like a half edge, super flat right here, very aggressive edge right there rounds off nicely there i love the fact that they did that that helps with stern tapping and helps coming off drops when you when you drop off of something it lets the the um gives you a little longer water line but it doesn't let you get so much stern impact and stern tapping right there so that edge runs from the tip of the stern and runs all the way to about and fades out kind of inward right there the sidewall is kind of flat right here. So that'll be interesting to see how that paddles. Roll it on over. It looks to be sort of like a hybrid displacement style hull. It's, it's more like a, more like a displacement style than goes into a planing. So it kind of goes from displacement into planing style. And those edges are real aggressive right there. Very aggressive edge. Has a slight peak right here. So it peaks out right there. So that lets me know that it's gonna like get back on that back edge and be easy to turn like more. This will be probably more of a back seat driving boat. It tapers back very tight here. So it doesn't stay wide, it tapers back. It goes wide, wide and then tapers back very fast right in here. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do an on-water review of the boat. If you guys want, you can check all my on-water review. If I can put these two videos together, I will. If not, you know, I'll see what I can do. A slight hump right there. I can see there's a slight misshape right here, but these are demos and that could have been just like, that's the reason it's a demo. And a lot of people, you know, demos are usually slight imperfections, not really bad. I don't see what would be causing that. That possibly, that hump right there might be when they're pulling it out of the mold. They might have like creased it a little bit and they turned it into a demo. And that's why they've got this as a demo instead of a production boat. Because the cross that I had was pretty much flawless. I mean, their plastic feels bomber on these boats. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and outfit this boat. So I'm gonna put in some outfitting. And then I'm gonna like get a paddle today on the uh, drives of the pigeon, which is a really good run here in the southeast. I'm, I'm glad to catch this. I'm waiting on a crew to get here. That's pretty much it for the walkthrough of the Zet Toro. I appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. If you um, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe because I'm also walkthrough and review of the Zet Five. Now the Five's a little smaller boat for me, but. Um, I can fit in it and it, I think I can paddle it pretty good. So stay tuned and maybe you can get a look at the, the Zet 5.